Welcome to the CV Confidence Coach Podcast with your host, Liz McGuire, where she helps you to learn the secret of an interview winning CV. Liz shows you how to deliver a compelling CV which increases career confidence, optimizes your professional visibility, and opens interview doors. Tune in weekly as she shares proven and simple strategies to help you craft your interview winning CV. Make sure you head over to www giraffecvs.co.uk to subscribe for our free newsletter with more CV writing and career tips. Hello guys, how are you doing? Hope everything is good for you and that you're enjoying the run up to Christmas. It's getting really festive here and we're having a great response on a recent infographic we launched entitled Santa's self-help guide to creating a CV that's poles apart and this week on the podcast I thought I'd share with you what Santa might write on his CV to give you some inspiration for yours. After all if Santa can do it so can you. So some jobs are really big, huge. When you've got a C-level leadership role with global responsibility how do you even begin to sum up what it is that you do? Well, just imagine what Santa needs to write on his CV. And to get us in the mood for Christmas 2014, we've done just that. And I thought this week on the podcast, I'd give you some insight as to what Santa would write on his CV so that it's pulls apart and shoots all the competition out of the water. Let's go. So at the very top of his CV, Santa would use a dashing headline to lead the way. He might write something like, global supply chain leader right at the top of his cv in big bold writing so you know exactly what it is he does i mean everyone knows santa but there's there's no harm in giving the people reading your cv a big clue as to what your what your speciality is so global supply chain leader would be a great tagline for for santa to include next up santa would present a perfect profile to show that he really is the real deal the profile would sum up his skills in a nutshell and show that he's no imitation. He's definitely very real and can bring the right skills to the job. So he might write something like this. An iconic supply chain leader who has created and maintained a global brand, achieving a timeless monopoly on the manufacture and distribution of festive toys and cheer. Mastermind of a complex and demanding supply chain across over 24 time zones meeting rather challenging deadlines. Multilingual, with a proven ability to communicate and influence at all levels. At ease, whether leading multi-species teams or enchanting children and parents with jolly dimples and twinkling eyes. I think it'd be hard for anyone to read that without realising that it's Santa we're talking about. And that's what your profile should aim for. A reader should be able to take it in and realise that it's talking about you. So something to, to learn from Santa there. Next up, Santa would add a sack full of skills to show that he really is a heavyweight contender. His skills might be global logistics and distribution, production planning, remote behaviour management, inventory control, personal brand management, team leadership and training, fleet management, those pesky reindeers, naughty and nice analysis, and he might also state that he's Santa Sigma Black Belt Certified. Moving down on page one of the CV, Santa would then outline his experience. He'd make sure that he added sparkle to his experience by adding glittering achievements, just like the baubles on the Christmas tree. I'll read you some of my favourites. Performance management of a multi-species team encompassing elves, reindeer and human Santa lookalikes to produce and deliver toys and gifts in line with recipients' needs. Free of charge remote behaviour monitoring and disciplinary support, enabling parents to outline unspeakable consequences for bad behaviour during the festive season. Speed reading over 300 million Christmas lists as sent up the chimney or posted to the North Pole on an annual basis. Analysis of naughty and nice management information to determine toy production and delivery schedules. Promoting health and safety compliance to achieve zero recordable incidents over four centuries. 
planning and managing an intensive delivery schedule across 24 plus time zones, meeting non-negotiable SLAs. Driving and motivating eight flying reindeer to pull a heavy laden sleigh over 25,000 miles in one stint. Appointing specialist reindeer to guide the sleigh at speed through adverse weather conditions. Maintaining an estimated speed of 650 miles per second. Managing on-time delivery to over 80 million homes. Overcoming claustrophobia to squeeze down sooty chimneys and also deploying a magical key to unlock doors in modern homes. Adopting a stoic Santa v food approach to consume numerous festive treats including sherry, mulled wine, mince pies, biscuits, chocolate and sometimes even carrots when the reindeer have overdone it. Ensuring consistent brand representation, white whiskers, red attire, black boots, cherry nose etc across all members of the lookalike team to keep children's belief alive. So there you have it, Santa's experience summed up in a nutshell. You'll notice that wherever possible, he's tried to quantify his achievements, so giving some numerical value to to the scale of his achievements, which, uh, which helps you to realise how big his job really is, and I recommend you do the same. Next up, Santa would probably outline his education. I bet you're wondering what kind of ed- education Santa has to list on his CV. Let me tell you. Santa told me that he actually has an MBA, a Master of Bringing Annually, from the Lapland School of Christmas. It probably won't surprise you to know that he's got a BSc Honours in Geography from the University of the North Pole, and also a BA in Modern Languages from the St Nicholas Institute of Modern Languages. Later on in life, Santa decided to reinforce his skills through a Lean Santa Sigma Black Belt qualification, with the International Association of Santa Sigma Certification. So he's quite an educated guy. To round off his CV, he would use a final section to build engagement with the reader through some extra stocking fillers. Perhaps he'd talk about membership, such as his membership of the Chartered Institute of Long Distance Travel and Toy Manufacture. He might talk about his language skills, He speaks every modern and ancient language, so this is a fantastic skill to list. Or even the additional information section might feature a mention of his heavy goods sleigh licence. On a more personal note, he might list interests such as kissing mummy, drinking Coca-Cola, time travel and coming to town. So there you have it, what Santa would write on his CV. I promise you I haven't already been at the Christmas sherry. I'm just uh, hoping that this will inject a bit of festive cheer into your lives in the run up to Christmas. And I look forward to bringing a little more serious content in 2015. Thanks guys and Merry Christmas. See you on the other side. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the CV Confidence Coach podcast. If you did, please do leave a review and subscribe here in iTunes to make sure you don't miss the next show. Head on over to www.giraffecvs.co.uk to subscribe for our free newsletter for more CV writing and career tips.